<coughs> okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh and good day everyone. Alright, so for today's synchronous lecture, we will focus on the the last subtopic of chapter three, which is solution of the initial value problems. And as as I said as I said before, this subsection is the most important subsection of chapter three because it concludes everything that you have learned so far in chapter three. Okay, and if you remember, I used to say, why do we need to learn Laplace transform? Because Laplace transform will provide you with another alternative or another uh, uh, solution to solve for the differential equation. Okay, so maksudnya, dalam subtopik ni lah, we are going to discuss on how to apply Laplace transform to solve for our differential equation equation okay so uh, let's straight away I uh, have a look at this slide here okay so basically there are four steps okay four step for you to solve <coughs> the differential equation using Laplace transform okay given to you tapi untuk solve the Laplace transform using uh, sorry to solve the differential equation using Laplace transform ni they must give to you the initial value conditions okay what does it mean by initial value condition they kena bagi dekat you y0 equals to what y prime 0 equals to what they we are not able to solve it if it is we just uh without this initial value problems okay kita tak boleh dap nak dapatkan solution to general solution sahaja dalam bentuk c no okay so given to you this quest, uh, this uh, uh, the explanation here for the step here, it comes together with the example sebenarnya but a simplified example so what we're going to do we will go through all the steps okay kat sini dia jump the step ni dia tu, just tunjuk final um, answer for each step saja. so we will do it again this example Okay, and make sure all of you are able to understand every single step involved in order to solve this la, apa ni, differential equation using Laplace transform. Okay, the first step, have a look. The question given to you in T space ataupun kalau soalan tu maybe dalam X ke apa ni yang biasa kita tengok uh, tu lah dalam uh, dimension yang bukan dalam Laplace punya dimension yet ok so given to you here for example y double prime minus y equals to t and y zero equals to one y prime zero equals to one from here we convert it into Laplace domain ok or as space ok so how do we get from here to here Huh. How do we get from here to here is what we are going to discuss very soon. So make sure all of you after the end of this asynchronous lecture or after at the end of the after you viewing this video, you understand how to get from here to here. Okay. So then from here we are able we we are already in the S domain or S space. Then we are able to manipulate the equation Apa ni dapat dalam bentuk macam ni How do we get from here to here pula Is another things that you need to find out And finally dah dapat macam ni We are able to use the inverse of Laplace transform And finally we find the, we, we find the solution of the differential equation In T space or in T domain Okay, how do we get actually from T space to S space here where we have the Y double prime here. Okay, Y ni maybe senang. Just sebenarnya Y T nak convert jadi Y uh, dan Laplace transform dia jadi je lah Y S. Isn't it? As simple as that. So, Y double prime. How do we convert it into its Laplace transform? Remember our last class Last week, Google Meet class, we do discuss about differentiation of Laplace transform, right? Uh, that's why I said last uh, master class hari tu is very important, very important because we're going to use that here. Okay, remember this one, recap back. Okay, this one. Laplace of F double prime is, uh, ni, there are two. Laplace of F prime dengan Laplace of F double 
prime so for our case we're going to use number two because the question given to us is a second order differential equation all right okay so now let's begin with to redo the example here we have the question y double prime minus y equals to t and given to us the initial condition y0 equals to 1 y prime 0 equals to 1 as well okay so daripada sini what you got to do is we convert this into the s domain or we transform it using the laplace transform we have laplace transform of y double prime minus laplace transform of y equals to laplace transform of t okay so using the definition or uh, using the laplace transform for y double prime is equals to s square okay laplace transform of y minus wave okay minus wave s s y oops s y zero minus with y prime zero okay and then minus with laplace transform of y equals to laplace transform of t okay then from here as i said tadi laplace transform of y senang je which is y s huh. and then s y zero y zero kita sama dengan berapa y zero is equals to one so s multiply by 1 tak payah tulis lah 1 tu and then y prime 0 is also 1 minus 1 minus ly ly again ys and then laplace transform of t you got to check using the laplace transform table or maybe um, many of you already remember this which is 1 over s square okay then daripada sini okay you see we already able to get ys Okay, so we're going to solve for ys now. So, our ys, okay, yl, kita ada s square ys minus with ys equals to 1 over s square tambah s tambah 1, right? And then, ys kat sini, saya factor out, kita dapat s square minus 1 equals to 1 over s square plus s plus 1. Right, then dari sini, finally, kita akan dapat ys equals to 1 over s square. Kat sini, s square minus 1. Then, plus with s plus 1 over s square minus 1. We almost there. Alright, then kalau you tengok kat sini, kita ada s plus 1 over s square minus 1. Yang ni ni sebenarnya, you can factor it out, right? Where s plus 1 over s square minus 1 ni, s square minus 1 ni is s plus 1 darat dengan s minus 1. So, you make cancel. So, that's why here your final answer will be 1 over s square, s square minus 1 tambah 1 over s minus 1. Okay, kalau kita tengok kepada jawapan kat sini tadi, they're, they're showing this s square minus 1 minus y equals to s plus 1 plus with 1 over s square yes we do have that where where is it this one right kita ada yang ni kenapa saya extend up to here ok why do i extend sampai kita dapat macam ni because we need to have start in such form ok kita perlukan our solution of y in la, uh, in s domain dalam bentuk explicitly Okay, 1 over s square darab ni s square minus 1 plus with 1 over s minus 1. We need to have it in this form in order to allow us to proceed to the third step. Okay, solution of subsidiary equation. Okay, because ingat kita dah dapat y tapi kita perlu convert dia into t space ataupun maksudnya kita, we need to apply laplace in, inverse of laplace transform in order to get the solution dalam bentuk yt ni alright clear everyone so of course we need to express our y in s domain explicitly apa maksud explicitly maknanya everything uh, s is on your right hand side Kat belah kiri ni hanya ada ys sahaja 
Alright, so now let's proceed to the third step. Okay, so now we have this and we want to find its inverse of Laplace transform. Okay, we want to find what is yt. Okay, so to find its yt, then you need to find its inverse of Laplace transform. And this is where we are going to apply what you have learned um, that uh, ni, uh, asynchronous lecture sebelum raya baru ni. Okay, where I have uh, I given you the videos, a few, a few, I think three videos about the inverse of Laplace transform. Okay, so to find yt, you can either directly okay find the inverse. Okay, maknya inverse of ys equals to inverse of one over s square s S square minus 1 plus with the inverse of 1 over S minus 1. Right? Okay. So, yang YS ni senang je. Dapat je YT. Okay. What about this one? Okay. This part. Okay. For this part, they, can you refer to the table and directly get its inverse? I don't think so. Okay, remember I did give you one example, something similar to like this to find its inverse. Okay, kita ke IV dulu yang ni. Okay, ke IV first yang ni. Yang ni, what about this one? Can you get the answer directly? Yes, we do. Okay, yang ni from the table, kita boleh straight away dapatkan jawapan which is equal to 1. Um, 1 over S minus 1 Its inverse is Kita punya A kat sini apa? Dia punya A A is equals to 1 So maknanya E to the power of T sahaja Okay So maknanya sekarang ni Kita hanya ada This part yang kita ke IV ni So I will extract this alone To solve for its inverse Okay Inverse of 1 over S square S square minus 1 Remember the step how to find the inverse for this case, such a case like this. Okay, yang ni, ingat, kita kena pecahkan, right? We need to so, <coughs> separate this so that we can find its inverse. Um, one, apa ni, dia punya, according to the factor that we have at the denominator here. So, how many factors do we have? Okay, kita pecahkan dia. We're going to have A over S plus with B over S square and then S square minus 1 ni sebenarnya adalah S square darab dengan S plus 1 darab dengan S minus 1 right ok so here we gonna have C over S plus 1 tambah D over S minus 1 Okay, so this is equals to 1 over S square, S square minus 1. Alright, okay, so daripada sini, we use the same method that you used to use before. Okay, yang kita cross multiply, bawa yang ni darab ke sini, right? So, we can solve with the term down there. Alright, so kat sini. Okay, yang kat sini kita akan dapat A darab A... A over S darab dengan S square S square minus 1 tu So you akan dapat lah A S darab dengan S square minus 1 right And B pula B ni S square akan cancel dengan S square ni So you have B S square minus 1 sahaja And then for C Remember S square minus 1 ni adalah S plus 1 S minus 1 So you're gonna have C S square S minus 1 and then plus with D S square ni <coughs> then S square minus 1 ni adalah macam saya sebut tadi S plus 1 S minus 1 so we cancel with the S minus 1 so you ada S square darab dengan S plus 1 so right hand side now become 1 ok so you extend this you extend this you expand this A S cube minus a s plus b s square minus b plus c s cube minus c s square plus d s cube 
plus d s square equals to 1 so as usual you compare left and right hand side according to its power so for s cube for s cube kita ada apa kita ada apa kita ada a then kita ada c then kita ada d right so a plus c plus d equals to do we have that s cube on your right hand side no we don't have so it's equals to zero okay a plus c plus d equals to zero for s square let's have a look for s square do we have s square uh, yes we do s square we do have a square which is <coughs> b okay we do have b for s square and then we have c minus c careful minus c then d b minus c plus d equals to what we also do not have s square on right hand side so it's equals to zero and what about s okay for s what do we have for s we have negative a yes we have negative a do we have other uh ada lagi tak for s no we do not have kita dah ambil semua dah tadi ni pun kita dah ambil okay so we have negative a equals to again zero so from here we get a is equals to zero we got one answer and then satu lagi tinggal which is negative b we have here negative b negative b this is the only term that we have on our right hand side okay negative b is equals to one Allah tak ada buat pula okay, here we have negative b equals to one so we have b equals to negative one so dengan ni kita dapat dah B sama dengan negatif 1 A sama dengan kosong Alright so using This equation 1 and equation 2 So and then replace We have A is equals to 0 So bila kita ada A sama dengan kosong Kita ada um, Ni eh A sama dengan kosong kat sini And this one B pula sama dengan negatif 1 B sama dengan negatif 1 So from here we have uh, Saya sapulah sikit eh Di sini kita dapat C tambah D equals to 0 And B yang ni Okay we have this one B is equals to negative 1 Negative 1 minus C tambah D is equals to 0 Daripada sini kita dapat C is equals to negative D betul Okay so daripada sini juga kita akan dapat Negative 1 minus C um, oh, sorry. C is negative D So Jadilah tambah D Tambah D equals to 0 So daripada sini You akan dapat D is equals to 1 over 2 Right D is equals to 1 over 2 So bila D equals to 1 over 2 Definitely C is equals to negative 1 over 2 so kita dah dapat semua jawapan Kita ada A sama dengan kosong B A sama dengan kosong B sama dengan negatif 1 C sama negatif half And D is equals to half Alright Okay so let's proceed Okay so based on our solution tadi A sama dengan kosong So A tak ada B is equals to negative 1 ok B is equals to uh, negative 1 so negative 1 over S square plus with C is equals to C sama berapa tadi B equals to negative 1 C is equals to negative half and D is equals to half alright ok so here we get negative half S plus 1 And then plus with Half dengan S minus 1 So yang ni lah yang we are going to Find is Inverse Ok inverse of this Inverse of this And inverse of this So basically Inverse of 1 over S square What is the inverse of 1 over S square Is T right 1 over S square is T So this one is negative T 
and negative half okay 1 over s plus 1 okay for this case our a is equal to negative 1 so it is this one is negative d and then plus with half s minus 1 is e to the power of t all right and then daripada sini uh, okay basically kita dah dapat jawapan dah yang ni adalah inverse of this so you may combine here so finally kita punya yt ni sama dengan negative t negative t okay tolak half e to the power of negative t plus half e to the power of t tambah dengan yang tadi tambah e to the power of t okay this is already the correct answer tapi kalau you tengok jawapan yang diberikan ni okay is equals to nak bersama tak dengan jawapan kita we do have negative t oops kita ada negative t tapi kita letak kat depan yes doesn't matter we have negative t and we have e to the power of t tapi kita letak kat belakang sama je sebenarnya and on the middle in the middle here we have sinh dia have sinh t apa benda ni macam mana dapat sinh t okay this sinh t is actually what we call a uh, Okay, sinh t ni kalau you pernah um, belajar sebelum ni this is so called as hyperbolic function ok hyperbolic function you boleh google lah it's not part of our syllabus but it is assumed that you need to know ok sinh t ni dia punya definition of sinh t dia ada uh, by definition sinh t ni adalah Allah ok sinh t ni Sinh t ni dia punya ni dia sama dengan e to power of t minus e to power of minus t over 2. Ah macam tu dia punya tu. Kalau cos t dia adalah e to power of t tambah e to the power of minus t over 2. Okey, so apa yang kita dapat tadi does does uh, benda possible tak untuk kita convertkan? Do we get this? e to the power of t minus e to the power of minus t over 2 so that we can claim is equals to sinh t dapat tak ok cuba tengok betul-betul so we have here negative t tak apalah negative t ni and you can factor out negative out right we can factor out negative out so we have e to the power of uh jap ok boleh ne e negative 1 over t ok nampak ni positif kan so I bring it kat depan so nampak senang half e to the power of t and then negative half e to the power of negative t tambah e to the power of t e to the power of t ni you tak perlu nak combine so nampak tak ni kita ada ni so this is actually equals to e to the power of t minus e to the power of negative t over 2 Kan? So, this is equals to sinh t class. Alright. So, from here we can see it's equals to negative 1 over t plus sinh t tambah e to the power of t. Okay. So, with this we have got the answer sama dengan apa yang ditunjukkan dalam soalan, eh, dalam slide ni. Okay, it's just a matter of minus t ni saya bawa ke depan dia letak kat belakang. Alright, so we're done with this example. Take long time but doesn't matter as long as you are able to understand. Basically, saya nak highlight kalau you jawab macam ni pun dah betul. Tapi, if happen the soalan tu dia kata, okay, show that uh, show that the, the the solution to y double prime minus y equals to t is this one then you got to work out until you get this lah.